as an orphan, I was the first time beneficiary of a brand new family when I was just six days old. Um, I was also given a, an older sister and a house and a German Shepherd dog and toys and many wonderful things. I was pretty lucky and I feel grateful for the opportunities it afforded me. Uh, other children born at the, at the Willows Hospital, born as orphans, were sometimes there for weeks or months. They um, were sometimes conceived through acts of rape or incest. So, I guess I could say being an orphan was pretty good, but statistics point to probability and not to certainty. Um, I was also the beneficiary of two alcoholic parents who six years later got divorced. When I was 20, I was about to finish college as an art major. Um, I came home one weekend to find all new furniture in my bedroom and I was a little confused. I asked my mom, you know, what's this for? And she said, well, after you graduate, you know, you're going to need some new furniture. And I realized at that point that she was making the assumption that I was going to be living at home. See, I started out as an engineering major. And I was going to be a biomedical engineer. I was going to design bionic arms and artificial hips for all the baby boomers that were going to get old at the height of my career when I was 45. Well, I decided to become an artist instead of an engineer. And um, as I was running today, thinking about what I was going to add to the discussion, I, I suddenly realized my role as the beneficiary in that situation, being an orphan and being given parents and a family and a sister and a house and a dog. See, my sister was older and she was, uh, she was given lots of toys, pretty much everything her little heart desired. And all through my life, I've noticed that my mom, being a single parent, maybe this started even before then, but she oftentimes wanted to go out and get something to take care of the problem. Sometimes that was new furniture. Sometimes that was a bottle of vodka. And sometimes that was a little child. I think benefactors have expectations that are placed on the beneficiaries that are not acknowledged and deep rooted down. It wasn't a very comfortable realization for me to think of myself as possibly a thing that would make a marriage better, make a family better. And when I decided to deviate from the script. I met with a lot of resistance. And I also think about 
this project, you know, you're writing a book and you're seeking assistance from all these people and I, along with hundreds, thousands of other people, are your benefactor, Amanda. And what type of relationship that sets up. It's profound. Um, the time that I'm committing to this video or anything else that I've written on your blog, and that's time I'm not spending on my own creative endeavors, but I do it openly and willingly and without expectation. And I think that is the spirit that many other people have. But not everybody. Oh, excuse me. And I think it may be those micro benefactor expectations that you were running up against uh, some weeks back. I just recently read your post from the 3rd of February and how people can be unkind to each other and to you. So I don't really know. I don't have a conclusion. I'll just end it.